Alana Rizvi, respected scholars, my elders, brothers and sisters, salamun alaikum. Inna lillahi wa inna ilayhi rajiun. It is from him that we have come and to him that we shall return. We have gathered here today to pay our final respects and perform the last rites of Marhum Muhammad Hussein Musa Jafar, who passed away yesterday. On behalf of the Jamaat and Jafri Funeral Services Committee, I extend our heartfelt condolences to the Marhum's wife, Hasina Baibanu, Marhum's children and their spouses, Femina Sheni Hussein Moti, Shaina Zahir Khalfan, Abdul Sukaina Musa Jafar, Rahim Fatima Musa, and Ejaz Ali Benazir Musa Jafar to extended family, friends, and members of the community on his passing. Please put your hands together and join me in praying that Marhum Muhammad Hussein be granted a safe passage to his final abode and that he be forgiven of any of his shortcomings and that he be granted a lofty place amongst the chosen ones. Amen. And we pray to the Almighty to grant Marhum's family and extended family the sabr to bear his loss. Amen. At this time, I would like to call on Marhum's son, Ejaz Ali, to say a few words on behalf of the family. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Mawlana Sahib, brothers and sisters in Islam, Assalamu alaikum. Inna lillahi wa inna ilayhi rajiun. Surely we belong to Allah, and indeed to Him we shall return. My father, Marhum Muhammad Hussein Musa Jafar, has returned to his Lord and Almighty Creator. Papa was a devoted family man whose faith was unwavering. His wisdom, caring personality, and welcoming nature won the hearts of not only his own family, but anyone that he came in contact with. His devotion to his faith in Ahlul Bayt was so strong that Papa, even while critically ill on Jehlum Day, encouraged his family to attend the majalis of Imam Hussein salam. His prayers were also so important to him that despite struggling to breathe in his last moments, he did not leave his prayers. Papa had the unique quality of maintaining regular contact with his loved ones near and far. He would only know how to make you feel special and loved. His home was always open to his loved ones at any time of the day. He was known to have an open door policy with welcoming arms. His five children, 12 grandchildren, and extended family will always feel his void, cherish his memories, and continue his legacy of being there for others unconditionally. Please forgive my father if he has hurt you in any way. And if there are any unsettled debts, please approach myself or my brothers, Abdul or Rahim. Our family extends their sincere thanks to the Jamaat, especially Jafri Burial Committee, Jafri Gusal Community Committee, the Mukhi and the Chair Lady, the Jamaat Office, the Ladies Committee, and Jamaat Volunteers. Please note the family has arranged an Isale Thawab Majlis at Jafri Community Center on Monday, September the 26th, starting with Salat and will continue thereafter on Tuesday the 8th at Marhum's family home in Aurora. We request you to remember the marhum in Hadi Mayyat tonight and in your du'as. Surah Al-Mubarakat Al-Fatiha. Thank you, Azhar Jazri. Jaffrey Funeral Services Committee extends its heartfelt thanks to the family for allowing us the privilege of being able to serve you during this difficult time. If we have erred, said, or done anything in rendering our services,
Please find it within yourselves not only to forgive us, but also inform us of our shortcomings so that we may improve our services in the future. Inshallah, after recitation of Salatul Mayyat, we'll be proceeding to Wadis Salam Cemetery located at 10992 Kennedy Road for burial services. We would humbly request that gents gather their belongings and join us in the hallway behind me to my left for the funeral procession. To my sisters, once the gents have exited the building, ladies, there will be a short majlis in Zainabia Hall, followed by Siaka food in the gym. Volunteers will guide you. For the gents, Surah Yasin and Siaka food will be after returning from the cemetery. Inshallah, this coming Thursday, September 29th, there will be an Isale Sawab majlis will be held for Marhum Muhammad Hussein and our program will coincide with the JCC Thursday night program. All Mominin are humbly requested to attend. We request that Mominin remember Marhum Muhammad Hussein tonight after Maghrib and Isha Salat as Jazali mentioned with recitation of Namaz Hadiyah Mayat and remember to take out Sadka in his honor if possible. Sadka boxes are available on both the ladies and gents side at the front of the hall. For all our benefit, Salatul Mayyad consists of five takbirats. After each takbir, there is a short dua. After the first takbir, we recite the Shahadatain, where we testify and confirm that there is no God, no God but Allah, and that Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam is his messenger. After the second takbir, we recite salawat or praise in honor of Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and his progeny. After the third takbir, we return to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and seek forgiveness for all mu'mineen and mu'minat who are present here today. After the fourth takbir, we turn to, uh, sorry, and, after, and finally the fifth takbir and that will end the Salatul Mayyad. It is highly recommended that each of us recite Salatul Mayyad after Mawlana and inshallah Mawlana Rizwi will be reciting slowly so we may follow him accordingly. If you are unable to recite the Salat, it is highly recommended that the fi five takbirat be recited at a minimum. And with that, as-salat, 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 all rise for prayers. Family members, please come to the front. Allahu Akbar أشهد أن لا إله إلا الله وحده لا شريك له وأشهد أن محمدا عبده ورسوله أرسله بدين الحق بشيرا ونظيرا بين يد الساعة الله أكبر اللهم صل على محمد وآل محمد وبارك على محمد وآل محمد وارحم محمدا وآل محمد كأفضل ما صليت وباركت وترحمت على إبراهيم وآل إبراهيم إنك حميد مجيد وصل على جميع الأنبياء والمرسلين والشهداء والصديقين 
وعلى جميع عباد الله الصالحين الله أكبر اللهم اغفر للمؤمنين والمؤمنات والمسلمين والمسلمات الأحياء منهم والموات وتابع بيننا وبينهم بالخيرات إنك مجيب الدعوات إنك على كل شيء قدير الله أكبر اللهم إن حاض عبدك وابن عبدك وابن أمتك نزل بك وأنت خير منزول به اللهم إن لا نعلم منه إلا خيرا وأنت أعلم به منا اللهم إن كان محسنا فزد في إحسانه وإن كان مسيا فتجاوز عنه واغفر له اللهم اجعله عندك في عال علين واخلف لأهله في الغابرين ورحمه برحمتك يا أرحم الراحمين الله أكبر الفاتح بسم الله This completes the funeral services. We ask all gents to kindly gather their belongings and proceed to lining up in the hallway for the funeral procession and ask request that ladies kindly take their seats for the ladies' majlis program. Asand.